Well, to talk more about that report from the Wall Street Journal about the prospect of negotiations with the United States and Meng Wanzhou uh, that would see her released uh, from Canada, be allowed to return to China, I'm joined by Guy Saint-Jacques, former ambassador to China. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Uh, well, I'm, I'm curious is what I am, which is, I guess, my natural state as a journalist. But uh, what do you make of this report? Well, if it's confirmed, this would be uh, great news because I think that uh, everyone in Ottawa was waiting for a miracle that would come from uh, Washington. So let's hope that the uh, discussions are uh, serious and that uh, a solution can be found because otherwise uh, I, I think uh, we would be uh, in a mess for a long time. Okay, we, I do want to uh, plant us sort of firmly in reality here. This is one report from the, the Wall Street Journal. As you may have or may not have heard, I did ask the Justice Minister about that at, at the beginning of our conversation. I actually made several attempts to get him to uh, acknowledge the substance of the report. He was unwilling to do so given his role as Attorney General. He may ultimately be asked, I suppose, to weigh in <clears throat> on this issue um, you know, if we get that far down the road, but we're in the very early stages, one report yet that we don't have any verification outside of this Wall Street Journal report on. That said, um, just talk to me a little bit about, I guess, the questions that you might have at this point about, about how such conversations might be coming about, why they might be coming about <clears throat> now as we creep up to the two-year anniversary, both of, um, of Meng Wanzhou's arrest, but also, uh, of course, of the case of the two Michaels who were later arrested in China and what is widely viewed in this country as retribu retribution for her arrest. <clears throat> well, in a way, I'm not surprised because uh, if you look at the previous case that we, we had to, uh, to deal with, uh, that of uh, Su Bin, who was arrested in August of 2014 at the request of the United States. In fact, we knew at the time that there were discussions taking place between the uh, U.S. Uh, Justice Department and Mr. Su Bin lawyers. Eventually, uh, Su Bin agreed to uh, uh, lesser charges and he agreed to plead uh, guilty. Mm -hmm. And in this case, I suspected uh, all along that, in fact, there had been attempts by the U.S. Uh, Justice Department to try to come up with uh, a plan. So uh, it seems now that maybe uh, we, we may be getting uh, closer to uh, a solution. It, it would require on the part of Mrs. Meng to admit to some, uh, some guilt uh, in this process. But uh, overall, the, this would be very good news. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, I don't know uh, who we, we have to... Uh, uh, congratulate for this, but uh, I'm sure that you know Ottawa has been pressing Washington to try to come uh, to uh, to help us in any way uh, possible, and and this would be a great way to end uh, this nightmare. Okay, we, so a few caveats there. One is that the Wall Street Journal's report says that Ms. Mung has so far resisted the proposed deal, believing she did nothing wrong. Some of the people who were uh, cited, uh, reached for this article said she declined to comment through a Huawei spokesperson. But I'm very interested in what you just said a moment ago, which is um, about Canada's efforts to pretend, well, what could be efforts by Canadians to reach out to American authorities in order to try to make this happen? Do you believe, if there is the kind of movement that is being reported by the Wall Street Journal, that Canada would ultimately have a hand in orchestrating it? <clears throat> well, uh, maybe because, uh, in fact, if you look at uh, what was available to the U.S. administration, they could have gone uh, just to uh, and uh, against Huawei and charge the company. This is what they did in previous cases. There was another Chinese company that the that was charged uh, uh, a few years ago that eventually pleaded guilty, paid a uh, one billion dollar uh, fine. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's clear that Ottawa has been pressing the Trump administration to help us out. Uh, I don't think that we could rely much on Mr. Trump himself, but. Uh, you know, there were discussions, I'm sure, that were taking place at other levels with the State Department and that uh, uh, hopefully the, 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 the Justice uh, Department continued to uh, discuss with uh, Mrs. Meng lawyers. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, again, let's hope that uh, they can come to uh, mm -hmm. a resolution of this case. The, the, the piece also mentions that, um, and I'll quote it directly here, negotiators from Ms. Mung and the Justice Department are speaking again this week in hopes of reaching uh, agreement before the end of the Trump administration. Why would that change in administration? Uh, walk us through the significance of that in, in this <clears throat> process. Well, <clears throat> uh, 
You know, until I, uh, I saw this article in the Wall Street Journal, I thought that, in fact, we uh, Ottawa was probably putting all his efforts now on the Biden administration. Uh, as we know, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau raised this in his uh, congratulatory call to uh, President-elect uh, Biden. Uh, but in a way, uh, uh, I think that uh, it would be much better to, to resolve this uh, ordeal as uh, early as possible. You know, when you have been spending two years in a Chinese jail, you are probably counting the days uh, when uh, you will be released. And this would be great news for our uh, two Canadians. If we... But this being said, uh, assuming that uh, uh, Mrs. Mon can uh, get to an agreement with the, uh, with the Justice Department, we will still have to find a way to uh, uh, get our, the two Michaels mm -hmm. out, because I'm sure that China may want to extract something uh, in exchange. Well, wow. there's something to consider. It does make us realize, too, that there's an, an incredible, uh, incredibly long chain, a sequence of ifs here, right? We start with just a report from one source and getting all the way to that, uh, from that to the release of the two Michaels is quite a process. But we really do appreciate, uh, Guy Saint-Jacques, you taking the time uh, rather suddenly <laughs> to give us your perspective yeah. <laughs> on this breaking news today. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.